guys welcome back to my channel it's Friday I'm starting up a new vlog and it is so disgusting hot here in Iowa I think it's hot everywhere is anybody having like nice weather that you can actually go out without melting I'm not sure and it's gonna be this way for a while and it's not even summer yet it's like July here this is what we get for complaining all winter that it was too cold um, but I have four orders to start the day this is just a vintage um, Barbie's fragrant Bar Barbies <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny? It was Barbie's Fragrant? No. Bambi's Fragrant Forest. These really aren't worth much. Uh, this one sold for $8.49. Free shipping. <clears throat> Little just um, vintage-y. I got this at that Scandinavian estate sale. It's like a... You pop it out and you display it. I don't know what it is. I don't know, but it sold for $8.49 with free shipping. Little Donald Duck pin, $11.99. Free shipping. And a Marisa's top for... $12.99 free shipping. Um, these items will go first class and then this one will go medium mail. So it'll be under three bucks to ship each of them. So not much profit. These aren't big sales, but you know what? I will take anything at this point and anything that keeps eBay active, um, I'm happy with. So bring on the small sales. I can't complain about smalls selling if I have smalls listed, right? So I will take it. All right, it is Friday after dinner, and I just sold this, <coughs> excuse me, little people mini bus um, for $18.74. I did put free shipping on them. These aren't worth a terrible amount of money. Um, and again, things are slow. I'm trying to move stuff, so I'm fine with that. It's um, still light enough to go via first class. Hey guys, it's now Saturday. Um, Saturday afternoon already. I went to an estate sale this morning. I wasn't anticipating much because it was a, a condo. And sometimes, you know, usually when you go to a condo, it's kind of like, oh, they already got rather good stuff. But I did find a lot of really nice vintage stuff. So I was super happy with that. Stopped at a couple other the garage sales that were near it. And oh my gosh. The, well, the first one stuff was cheap, but it was all modern and kids stuff and just wasn't interesting. The second one, they had a color coded pricing system. So they had a board with the colors and how much stuff costs. And then the coordinating sticker was on the item. Like, why didn't you just write the price on the sticker? They went through the trouble of putting stickers on, but it was like too much to write the price. And their prices were insane. Like $5 for clothes, I mean, just dumb. So anyway, and I had to run to Target. I had to get some more things for Father's Day tomorrow, going to my brother's house. So taking stuff for that. And I've come home to one eBay sale. John Deere hat. I picked this up for a dollar. It sold for $18.74. It's on sale. It did put free shipping on it. It will go first class. Um, this is the new logo, John Deere logo with the deer's hind legs down, as you can see. Um, so this is how you know it's a modern item. And then the logo before that or is this logo. You can see the deer legs are both up in the air. The hind legs are up in the air. See the difference? Hind legs down, hind legs up. There is a logo before that. I don't have anything that looks like it here, but basically all four of the deer's legs are up in the air and you can count four legs versus two. Those, that's the stuff that's the oldest. So when you're out and about and you see this logo, it's not that this logo won't sell. It's just, this is the modern stuff. So you have to be careful. Also, they sometimes now reproduce the old logo and put it on new stuff. So collectors really want that older logo, but um, this is brand new with tags and it's kind of got the hunting theme going on with it. And it's a real tree brand. Like I said, I only got it for a buck. So that's my little history of John Deere. I'm kind of bummed because the uh, John Deere 100th anniversary is going on this weekend in our city and Papa worked there for 29 years. Um, I wanted to take it. He didn't really want to go, but I kind of wanted to take him, but it is too far freaking hot out there's just no way he'd need the wheelchair and he won't use it <laughs> he's like I already saw it all I don't need it in my room but so I don't know if that's maybe why there really weren't that many garage sales or anything going on this weekend maybe for Father's Day maybe the John Deere event but that's okay because like I said it is just it's miserable we're getting um what is it the dew point or humidity over a hundred and it's just it's not fun so fortunately 
got what I wanted to get done today and I can stay inside and then we got to go into tomorrow to my brother's. Hopefully they're having it inside or I'll go inside. I'll just sit inside. <laughs> it's just miserable. This is what we get for complaining about being too cold. Now we're just like way too hot. You're on camera. You want to say hello? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I was telling everyone how we were, I wanted to take you to the John Deere event, but it's too hot. Too hot, and I've been through it all. You've been through it all. Now, you were at John Deere for 29 years, but you didn't actually make the tractors. No. You I, were in the office. Yeah. What did you tell me when I was young? You said you were salary. Yeah. <laughs> and I went and I told everybody that. I'm like, my dad's salary, not wage. <laughs> oh, my yeah. God. I know it's true, but it sounds so obnoxious. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and what was your position when you retired? my condition. Pedi pe um, position. Oh, I was a supervisor of complete goods. Of complete goods? Yeah. So basically it was ordering? It was like you ordered the tractors? No. The orders came into you? Yeah. What about the queen? You sold some to the queen? What's that? Didn't the queen Elizabeth um, send an order in? Oh, well, she didn't, but... They did, uh, yeah. They did buy some stuff. Yeah. From the from their dealer. Mm. You know, their dealer in England. In London. But you knew it was for the Queen. Well, yeah. Did she send you a thank you card? <laughs> did she send you a thank you card? No. Jeez, Queen. You want a quick show what we got here? Yeah. So this is forty-seven dollars and fifty cents. What is that? It's, uh, you know what I think? This person had Montessori stuff. This, I wonder if some sort of Montessori toy. Oh. But it doesn't seem to have a mark. I mean, it's just a toy. Like a doll would sit there. Yeah. So, I don't know. There's a lovely butter, Jason. Yes, and it's marked on the bottom with something. I only get things if they're marked. Oh, that's okay. Something silver. <laughs> international something stainless. Yeah, International Silver Company stainless steel silver company. <laughs> Here's a brass teapot. Yeah, I actually have one exactly like that already listed. Yeah. Yep, for forty dollars. Yeah, that one's really good shape. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> If you can get the lid back on. A button holer. You want to keep that so you can put buttons on uh, things. A Frosty the Snowman with the tag. I love plush with tag. <laughs> it's from CVS. <laughs> CVS? Yeah. <laughs> but some people actually will collect, you know, ones from the different stores. That's another stall. I believe yeah. made in Sweden. Yeah, I um, I've sold one. I've got another one, a larger one. I don't know what this yellow means, do you? Um, is, is it like well construction equipment? I don't know. Yeah. It's pretty good shape. Yeah. Another of these. I just bought one. I don't know if it's even the same pattern. No, it's a different pattern. That's pretty nice. Right? Yeah, that one's a really good shape of the. Yeah. What's it called? Day, Dayer? Dayhar? I'm not sure what this is. This is, um, oh, it's no. napkin. Isn't it napkin, salt, pepper? Or is it a, I don't know. But it was made in the USA, so that means it's like really rare. <laughs> that came, well, it was next to that, but I don't know how it could be with that. So, I don't know. Okay, what's over there? I got all these little vintage hooks. Yeah. yeah. Just hooks. Just hooks. Just hooks to hang things on. Yeah. But they're vintage. And they're super rare. Yeah, and uh, oh, that lamp kit. I, th I either have one or I have already what? sold this, one. This, this? Yeah. Oh. No. I'm sorry. It was a lamp kit. Oh, hang on. Bookmark. My my eggs are done. I have. To, I wonder if I can just leave them there a second. Oh, it stopped working. 
Let's see. Oh. Making hard boiled eggs for deviled eggs and potato salad. Oh, there we go. Okay. We'll let that release. All right, what else we got? The enamel bookmark. Yeah, I don't know. I like anything that's old and in the package. All that stuff? Yeah. This is a photo album. I already mm -hmm. looked through it. No pictures. <laughs> no, it's perfect. Yep, and in the box. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, there was a lot of stuff still in the box. I Some little I children's know. books. Yep. Yeah, I, see, those are Montessori books. Are they? Yeah. Whatever that is. I went to Montessori, and I don't know. Did, did I get anything out of it? We've had several of these. I know. I like those kind. I've gotten mother and grandmother. Oh, we show that silverware and that shoe. This is, I did spend seven, wait, $8 at a, at a garage sale on the, that flatware and this Christmas ornament. They had three on them. I'm like, give me a break. Korea. Yo, good. I couldn't see the country on it. Got some dominoes just because they were in the box. Yeah, that's... Uh, They're wood. Yeah. These are two Department 56 little ornaments. Those are the part of your Christmas tree. You plug them into the light. Oh. Yeah, they had them all sectioned off. Two nice brass candle holders. This is that black walnut. Oh. What else we got? Irving Ware serving tray in the box. These, I've had stuff like this before. Made in France. And then just some little vintage serving knives and forks. And then this sweet, oh yeah, this, that's cute. With the little coasters. I sold the snack set last week, you know, like that. But, oh, and then this Adidas. It's a, I didn't realize it was a whole outfit. That's pretty nice. You were going to wear it and run around the block? No. Okay. Well, thanks for helping with the haul. Okay. Now I'll go finish up my eggs. My eggs. Ooh, they smell. Stinky. The eggs are easier to peel? Yeah. Yeah. Four, so, yeah. Six minutes for the eggs and four minutes for the potatoes for potato salad. It's a Risen it, Lucy. Lucy's like, give me a potato and then an egg. I'm hungry. You're not hungry, are you? Yeah. Where's Mr. Charlie? Mr. Charlie, you just ate a tree branch outside. I don't know why you're hungry over here. Huh? Huh? Okay, a couple more sales just came in. This is just a little vintage golden book. It is a Disney one. Um, it sold for six dollars. What did it sell for? Seven dollars and forty nine cents with free shipping. So not much profit. But I, when I find these and they're in good condition, I just can't pass them up. So, um, and then on Etsy, I had an Etsy sale. This will probably be my one Etsy sale for the week. Cause it's about what I do there. It seems like um, these little Gorm dolls. Um, I'll, I'll pick these up if they're in the box and they're you know like a dollar. And they were they were like a dollar. Um, $18.74 over on Etsy, but also has free shipping, but that, um, it is light enough to go first class. So I finally got a dog bed for in here so that puppies could come in while I'm working. And Charlie has been so good, he has not peed on it, which is why we've had to wait because the pet beds we had, Charlie thought they were a good place to go. But now he's a bigger boy and he recognizes a nice bed when he sees one. And I got this at Sam Club. It was Sam's Club. It was um, $29 and change. So good deal. I always get my pet beds there because, you know, they, they're going to wear out. They're going to be gross. But you like that? Yeah, you like to get cozy in there, don't you? Oh, boy, that's a fun place to be. There's the puggy head tilt. You help tilting your head? Are you laying in the bed? Is it so comfortable? You like the new bed? Oh, boy, you do. <laughs> it's Sunday morning. It's Father's Day. We're getting ready to go to my brother's house. And I have two orders to start today. I have an Etsy sale. This is a Barbara. Barbara. Is it Barbara or Barbara? 
it's Barbara. My mom's name was Barbara, and that's how she spelled it. I don't know why I have to pronounce it different. Anyway, um, it's an Alaskan artist. This one sold for $10, to $10 and change. Buyer paid shipping. Have them at $14.99. They're on sale. So, And then on eBay, sold uh, these two packs of train model train railroad track things. I don't know. They sold for $18.74. I did put free shipping on them. Um, so yeah, two orders to start the day. I just started promoted listings on Etsy. My friend Brent Ott over at O-Unit Productions, who no longer makes videos, um, recommended it. And I didn't even know they had it. So I had to do some Googling and looking. So I set a budget of $2 a day. <laughs> we'll see if that helps. Because I have so much stuff over on Etsy and, you know, now I've had two orders this weekend, so it's like, well, maybe I've, you know, maybe I should put more work into it. So, I don't know. Trying to get stuff on eBay, then cross-post to Etsy, maybe just on the weekends. And honestly, right now I'm not doing anything with Poshmark. What's there is there. I need to focus on um, the other two sites that don't need so much work. Like, if you're doing clothes, like if clothes is your only category, that then, then Poshmark's great. Don't get me wrong. Um, but it does need some attention. And... Yeah, I'm trying to get this other stuff moving. So anyway, get these going and then off to Father's Day events. Oh, it is a miserable hot day out. I think it's going to be this way through Tuesday and then hopefully we get some relief. We're home from Father's Day. And as we were leaving, my dad's like, well, where's the salad to take home? I'm like, well, what do you mean? Potato salad, coleslaw. I'm like, I'm leaving it here. He's like, no, the jello. We forgot to take the jello. So here's the seven layer jello that Papa spent two days making. Oh, <laughs> we forgot it. Ugh. And my potato salad was a disaster. I didn't put enough seasoning in it. It was horrendous. Um, yeah, everything else is fine. <laughs> I can't believe we forgot the jello. Well, I've had two more eBay orders come in. Uh, this is a little Department 56 figurine set. It sold for $14.99, free shipping. Um, it'll go first class, little Maurice's top, eleven twenty four free shipping. Everything has been smalls lately, but like I said, whatever, I'll take it. Um, I had been putting the clothes I have on Poshmark here on its own rack, but I'm now going to move them so they blend in with the others, because this is what happens. I come down, something sold on eBay, I go to find it, I'm like, I don't have it, and then I remember, oh yeah, it's over on that rack, so I don't need to do that. Um... You know, like I've been saying, I'm kind of up in the air on Poshmark right now. I can see getting back more into Poshmark um, once winter sets in. And I'm probably not having as much in the way of estate sale stuff to do. But um, I'm just, I, you know, every day I change my mind. One day I'm like, okay, that's it. I'm going to I'm gonna try to get more on Poshmark. I'm going to share and follow it all. And then the next day I'm like, oh, this is ridiculous. Why am I wasting my time over there when I could just sell it on eBay? So every day is different. And it's kind of the same with Etsy, although I've had two whole Etsy sales this weekend, which makes me like, oh my God, list everything on Etsy. Ugh, why can't it just all be on eBay? Life would be so much easier. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching today's vlog. If you liked it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and hit that little notification bell next to the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos. Also check out the links under the video. I have links to all of my eBay books as well as my blog and social media. So until the next time, bye.